Sup? Today I will show you three of the best React patterns for creating senior level components. Do you know them? Alright. So the best way to see the difference is to start with an example. Let's look at the bad way to create a custom component, which in this example is a button component. Now this button might work. It takes some props like variant and other props, which at the first glance look like they are from the button component. But this way of doing components is bad. Why? First, we are manually defining every single prop which is commonly known as a bad pattern. What about when we want to change the type of a button? Then we would need to manually add the type prop. You already see why it is a bad idea, right? Instead of that, we can use the component props type, which takes the HTML element from which we want to take props. In our case, we want the button. Then use the spread operator to get the rest of the props applied to our component and place it in the button element. Now this is much better. Our components have all the props from the button element and we don't need to add them manually every time. But we can go even a level higher. Another useful tip is using the class merging function. In this example, I created a conditional green border if our button is type submit. We can see that there is a button with a green border now. With this, we can define conditional classes as well as put many others without the need to separate them with a space using CLSX and Tailwind merge packages. It's an important snippet for every front-end developer, so don't miss it out. The last one is combining everything before and adding variants into our component using the class variants authority package. With this, we can easily define our button variants with default base class names applied and under that, variants for our component. We need to add the variant props type into our component props. To add the variant attribute, then just combine the selected variant and class name using the CN function and you are good to go. And that's it. I hope that your front end skills will go even further. If you want to see more React.js content, please subscribe as it means so much to me. I will see you in the next one.